There are, are really, really good reasons why you don't want to mess with patch fragments. Mostly, it's because in the end, they're going to break your heart. But that's not going to stop me from showing you how to do it today. Let's start by looking at the plugins view, okay? And let's choose a plugin that we really shouldn't mess with. There we go. Org Eclipse Core Resources. Right click, select Import as Source Project. And then wait for a moment while it does its import. Let's close you. And there's the project. Okay. Now let's look at the manifest. We have to make some changes to the manifest. First, we're going to give it a new version, just to make sure. Now let's go to the Runtime tab, and we're going to add to the class path a jar, and we'll call it library.jar, that's fine. Notice how the class path has now been uh, changed. Uh, library.jar is what we're going to build in the patch fragment. So library.jar has to be above dot because that's what you want to have take over uh, for certain classes. Okay. On the build tab, we don't want it to build library.jar. We want that to be reserved. For, we want that patch fragment to do that. Now we're going to click on the manifest tab. And we're going to add Eclipse. Now we want to add something called Eclipse Extensible API. Do you see that there? No. They're keeping you down. They don't want you to use this feature. Extensible API. True. Good. Now, we're going to have to do some more work in this manifest, but I'm not going to do it right now. Now it's time to create the patch fragment. New fragment project. org.braincandy.eclipse.frankenstein And its host plugin is org.eclipse.core.resources That's it. So we create the patch fragment. Now we have two bundles. Close that one up. Now, let's modify the manifest some. On runtime, again, you're going to mutate the class path. And you're going to add library.jar. Now we go back to the manifest file. And we're going to add Eclipse patch fragment that's also not there so we're gonna have to do it ourselves patch eh, new line do you hate how strict the manifest uh, syntax is because I can't stand it now let's talk about build we're not going to build that. We're only going to build a library jar. It's going to contain everything. I tend to overdo it, but there we go. OK. So now we're basically, the framework is set. Let's get the code we want to mutate. And that's here. We want to change resource. There it is. Now I'm going to copy it. Now I'm going to paste it in this project. New package org.eclipse.core.internal.resources. And now I'm going to paste the class. And you'll see, there it is. OK. So let me get rid of this. And let's edit our new file. And we're just going to not do anything particularly helpful, but in 
Now you're wondering why I'm not. Uh, no, path could be null, and this could throw an exception. But you know, this is a patch fragment, so I'm going to live a little crazy. Now, there's one more thing I have to do. It's very important. Um, you have to clear this out, this digest that verifies that everything's correct, because unfortunately, uh, this digest has to go. If you can make this work with the digest, go for it. Let's give it a try. Now we're going to want to look at this console. There you go.